Hey, Church of Our Savior, and anybody else who happens to be tuning in, uh, so glad to have you with us for another edition of our Noonday Prayers during this uh, coronavirus pandemic. Uh, so I will be from the uh, Book of Common Prayer, and you can follow along there, page 103, or you can go to bcponline.org. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. And he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. So the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who shall keep you safe. The Lord shall watch over your going out and your coming in. From this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Romans 5, 5, the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. So I've been thinking about uh, a passage uh, from Scripture. It's actually not a seasonally appropriate passage. We are in Lent right now, but this is a resurrection passage, uh, a passage from uh, John chapter 20. In fact, it's Easter night, and this is uh, what John tells us. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, that was the day that Jesus uh, rose from the dead, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them, and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Now, it, um, it is. I think this passage has been on my heart because uh, the doors were locked and the disciples were huddled behind them afraid. Uh, they were afraid of what they would find if they went uh, beyond those doors. And we uh, certainly find ourselves in a similar situation these days. Many of us are uh, at home or uh, not around people that we love and want to see, and we're afraid. We're afraid what uh, will happen to us if we go outside those doors. What is wonderful about this passage, isn't it, is that the risen Lord meets the disciples right there. He comes right to where they are, and uh, they don't unlock the door for him. Uh, they are still in their fear, but that is where Jesus meets them. And what does he say? He says, cut it out, you cowards. No. He says, peace be with you. Peace be with you. It is the presence of Jesus with them, meeting them right in the place of their fear, that can allow them to have his peace. It's his presence that brings that peace. Well, he actually says that twice to them. He says, peace be with you. He shows them his scars, and then he says it again. He says, peace be with you, and he breathes on them and gives them the Holy Spirit, and he says, just as the Father sent me, so I am sending you. He does not tell the disciples to stay there huddled up. He says, I'm sending you out. Now, what is very clear is he's not telling them to go flaunt uh, themselves in front of the ones they're afraid of. Uh, no more than he would tell us that we should just not worry about the coronavirus and, and go about our daily lives. We still have to be careful. In fact, the very next time we see the disciples, they've actually left Jerusalem and gone all the way up uh, to Galilee. 
Um, he's not saying, don't worry about it. He's saying, you have my spirit, and just as you have received grace and comfort for me, so you are going to be a vessel of grace and comfort for others. And that's what I want us to hear today, friends. Um, we need to receive grace and comfort. We do. But we also need to be vessels of grace and comfort for others. God's peace he gives to you, but he also is sending you out. So make those phone calls, FaceTime, Facebook message, whatever it is that you can do, reach out and let people know that they are not alone. Uh, we are in this together. And God is with you. Make sure you tell them that. And make sure you remember it for yourself. God bless you. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. I've gotten a few prayer requests for folks who are already immunosuppressed, and uh, this is a scary time for them. So let's, let's pray for folks who already have some sort of existing health condition that this whole pandemic makes it... Uh, much scarier for them, and it actually uh, makes them face some very difficult choices. So let's pray. Father, we pray for those who are um, already immunosuppressed, those who are particularly vulnerable to this coronavirus, and that this um, shutdown of our society is, is forcing them into very difficult decisions. Do they stay home, or do they go out and get their medicine? Uh, do they... Um, do they make other appointments? Do they just, uh, do they allow people to come in? Uh, they are, um, they're afraid, Lord. And so we're praying, God, for you to, um, especially by your mercy, protect them. And we ask uh, this for all, um, this same prayer, Lord, for all of those who are afraid, for the, all of those who are sick. Uh, we pray for your mercy to protect them. Uh, these are scary times, Lord, and we need your grace and comfort, and we need for you to give us the belief and the faith to know that you are working through this. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the grace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm praying for you. Take care.